Hello, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. I've got this weird shadow thing on me right now because I'm stood in front of my blinds, blinds down because it's so sunny. Um, I'm actually heading into Manchester. Woo -woo. We're going for a nice girly birthday drink. So I'm a little bit, you know, oh Polly dressy. Even though it's only 12 o'clock. Oh, in fact, we need to go. I need to call Tom to take me to the train station I'm gonna meet Emily pick her up then we're gonna to head to the train station go to uh, Cottonopolis for one of her friends or one of our friends birthday so we're gonna have a nice bottomless brunch and then I think Tom is actually in Manchester with his mum all day so um, they're driving in later so I'll probably just end up going home with him so <clears throat> let me just show you this Opoly number because I love it it's a nice little cupboard in this knit kind of ribbed fabric and it's actually very reasonably priced for Opoly. They have quite a lot of items that are a lot pricier but um, this is very, very reasonable. I need to put my jewellery on, perfume, sort of bag. I'm rushing because we need to leave for the train station ASAP but I'm just waiting for Tom to get home to pick me up. So hopefully he'll uh, arrive anytime soon. So I thought I would start this weekly vlog today because we're gonna have a nice girly drinks and brunch that I'll obviously share with you guys what the food and everything is like there. Um, makeup wise, I've got the stripped down lip liner on, love this. It's a new favorite of mine. I like recently rediscovered it in my makeup collection. And by Stila. This is a lip gloss in golden parachute. Just nice little bit of glitz. Sun's back out. Uh, nice little bit of glitter to add on there. That's Tom. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's do a boyfriend. Boyfriend rates my outfit. Out of ten. Whoa. Oh, Polly. 9.5. 9.5, what would you improve? Um. <laughs> would you ever give me a 10? Necklace. I haven't finished putting jewellery on yet. Oh, Earrings. Thank you, baby. We are in Manchester, Victoria. Manchester, I've been at large. <laughs> um, we're actually waiting for two of our friends. We're the first two to arrive. And then we're going to head over to Cottonopolis. It's very busy. Oh, people are watching me vlog. That's uh, fun. Fun times. But yeah, this is Emily. You've probably met her before. Hi, guys. And we're waiting for Mel, the birthday girl. Woo -woo. And Lizzie, the party animal. Well, actually, <laughs> yeah, she's probably the party animal. <laughs> Everybody, it is Wednesday today. That's just reminded me it's bin day and we've not taken our bins out yet. Need to do that in a second. I'm just in my dressing gown, just got up, done my makeup, and I still need to do my hair. But today, <clears throat> from my throat, today I'm heading off to Manchester and I'm meeting with Lydia. We're going to shoot a couple of outfits, which we haven't done in a while because finally the sun is shining all day in Manchester. Touch wood. I don't want to like jinx it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to stay sunny all day before heading on to an event with Astrid and Mew 
jewelry brand so excited to be sort of being introduced to that brand it's the first time that i'll have ever like seen the brand i've never bought it i have heard of it and seen it on instagram but yeah i'm excited to actually be going for a dinner with them and i'm actually going back to cottonopolis which you've obviously seen already in this vlog so i'm no complaints there because i do love it there the food is really really good so um yeah this is just sort of my situation at the minute planning outfits i'm gonna wear my new boohoo trainers to walk around in a bit in this like in the initial stages and then i'm gonna put on these bad boys heel heels uh for the event tonight so i'm so excited i'll obviously bring you guys along with me i might actually head into town a little bit earlier um i want to go into h&m and there's one en route that you like park up to so i might do a little bit of a come to h&m with me new in uh, before heading into city center itself and today this morning because the event's not until later we're not actually going in until like three ish so this morning i've pretty much been sat here working um i do need to do my hair but apart from that i've just been sat here doing some work on my laptop and um i wanted to sort of just run through a quick update because some of you may or may not know over the last several weeks i've been working with a brand called squarespace which is an online platform which allows you to it's like an all-in-one platform that allows you to build and create your very own website super easy and like foolproof they have loads of support as well if you do have any questions and are struggling um so i've been working on my website and i've pretty much got it to the point where um, I'm going to relaunch my blog and kind of start afresh because my old blog was very much dated. I hadn't posted in over a year and it's just something that I wasn't really proud of. It didn't motivate me anymore. So it's something that I wanted to start afresh, start again. So I've been working on my website, building it, creating loads of different pages and the about me section, all that and designing the look of it. And I'm ready to get posting on it now and set it live. So let me just answer the call from Tom. Hello. I think I might be back in time, but you might just want to put the bin out just in case. I know. I just said, I just reminded myself that it was bin day. I oh, will okay. do. All right. All right, bye. Okay, see you soon. He's out on a um, bit of a run. So I'll do the bins in a second. I need to get dressed. <sighs> Plenty going on this morning. So uh, yeah, I'm very excited to announce that I'm finally ready to sell it live. I just need some content for it now. So any ideas of blog posts that you particularly are keen to see from me, it might be just some more imagery, it might be more homeware things and interiors, it might be more thrifting things, it might be fashion related things, autumn, winter wear, styling, that kind of thing. Any thing that you think you'd be interested in reading or seeing on my blog, it might be story times, it might be um you know like little diary entry type things of things that i've never really talked about on my channel my upbringing my military moving about here there and everywhere moving every two years for my entire life anything that you think would be interesting do pop me a comment down below and let me know and i will get to work on that and set it live and let you guys know once it's live so if you do want to check out squarespace yourself and perhaps you have um a blog that you want to create yourself or Perhaps you have a shop that you want to set up and sell some things online. Perhaps you're a photographer, a videographer, you want an online portfolio. There are so many different reasons to create and set up your own website. And I really do think that it is the time to do so. Super easy and affordable as well. So I'll leave a link to Squarespace down below along with a discount code. Should you wish to set up your own website, you can use the free trial and then use my discount code to get a discount off your first purchase. So um, yeah, that is this morning. I need to pack up everything and get on the road in a few hours, but not for a while yet. I'm gonna have a nice breakfast with Tom, take out the bins, do my hair, all that jazz. And I'll probably see you guys again later when I am heading on into Manchester 
where we can check out H&M. Let's go shopping together. Just before I go as well, I also wanted to show you this, which just arrived from Glossy Box. This was gifted very kindly. This is October's month, which I thought was such a unique concept with it being Halloween. They are sending either the angel or the devil box, of which I obviously got the angel. So uh, let's see what products are inside this month. Yum. Okay, so first thing I spot is some hot chocolate from Wittard Chelsea. Delicious. Lord and Berry lip product. And then also a I Define Crayon Liner in Black by M Co Beauty. Um, we also have a little palette. I don't tend to go for the pinks, but I know that if you get the Devil Box, um, they're very warm toned. So, oh, okay, you can't see in there, but I've seen on the press release that it's lots of browns and oranges, which would have been my preferred palette. Nonetheless, this is pretty, but I think I am going to put it to one side to give away. And then I also got this, which is an illuminating holographic peel off mask, it contains violet and jasmine extract. And then from Bubble Tea, we have a foaming bath powder in angel dust. I love how they personalized it to match the box. I do have a discount code Freya30. I'm sure it still works. So if you did uh, want to sign up to Glossy Box, then you get your first box, I think, for seven pounds. So bargain. Ah, this is a problem. H&M is closed. So, apparently H&M is closed down, which is not great, but there is a TK Maxx here, so I might have a browse in there, and also, I mean, there is a new look. I could have a browse in there. There are a couple of shops here. Um, I'm actually just gonna pop into Greg's to buy a bite to eat to keep me going, because we're not eating dinner until about half six tonight, and I haven't eaten since breakfast, which was half 10 this morning. So I'm gonna get just a nibble, and maybe a coffee and then probably head over to TK Maxx. These are a good idea from the works to do your own advent calendar. 20 pounds and then the other one is 15. <laughs> I love watching these conspiracy theories on YouTube. I'm actually in here. Oh, they've got loads, loads of these like adult coloring books. So I'm actually in here because one of you guys tagged me on Instagram saying that the works have dairy milk chocolate bars with names on and you saw one with Freya oh my god they've got all their Christmas bits in as well um but I don't think this one has it so I'm gonna go over to TK Maxx now and have a quick browse homeware and fashion because why not new season and it's freezing today so let's go a lot of brands seem to be doing this like thicker strap and like double strap obviously Louis Vuitton inspired and Fendi and there's loads of different brands that do it now um, but this one from Guess I thought was a really nice neutral blush pink $69.99 quite like that I don't really like the silvery handle though and then I also spotted this from Osprey little like backpack I love the colour of this $79.99 I've also noticed a lot more Massimo Duty, I think that's how you pronounce it, in TK Maxx. And they have this gorgeous like chocolate brown trench coat, $39.99. How cosy is this French Connection coat, $49.99. And it is like the perfect autumn colours as well, love that. Although Teddy Coat, I don't know, is it that cold yet? And that's my phone ringing. These are the first, I'd say, amber coloured glass ones I found. $9.99. That's pretty reasonable, actually. So it's like a medium sized one. And they've got some like spooky Halloween ones. That one's quite pretty. But they do also have a couple of mugs, which I've spotted. $3.99. I quite like that one. So I've got a few bits to try on here, which I'll do in the changing room with you in a sec. First floor for homeware and also oops, also menswear. I want to have a quick look and see if they've got any like sweatshirts in or anything. I love this. It reminds me of Mrs. Hinch with her like storage caddies that she has for all the different rooms. She has grey, obviously. But I quite like this at crew cream kind of colour. $9.99 though. I do feel like that seems kind of steep for 
what it is essentially. I don't know, is 9.99 good? This is me, if I had a dog, and Diet Coke instead of wine. That is how cool I am. Ooh, couple more Halloween mugs, Mr. and Mrs. And I've never seen this before, Polo Ralph Lauren mugs. Uh, I don't really like it, but if you do, 12.99. And let's see if they have any more. They have this one, but I just find this is a bit basic. I wanted something a bit nicer than that. 1.99. I feel like where are the Ray Duns? Surely they've got like pumpkin spice. I've seen one that they do with pumpkin spice on it. But I've never seen it in a UK TK Maxx. Oh, there's another witchy one down there. Oh, and that one's quite cute actually. Emma Bridgewater mug with the little pumpkins on. It'd be rude not to have at least a quick look at the Christmas bits. I'm not really buying anything yet. I feel like I need to get Halloween done first and then I'm gonna go all out for November. I still think we'll get our tree on December 1st because that's kind of a tradition for me. But um, all the other decor, I got this for an autumn wreath and kind of DIY'd it a little bit, 5 99 because that's definitely not necessarily just for Christmas. Let's see if they have the cereal magazine here. You'll know what I'm talking about if you have seen the last couple of vlogs that I've done in HomeSense and TK Maxx. Someone tagged me and found the cereal magazine in TK Maxx, but I'm yet to see it. I've seen similar magazines, but not cereal. That's Ray Dunn, that design, if you know what I'm talking about. I always like to have a quick look at the cards and just, if I see any that I like, pop them away for future occasions in my little card box. Oh, that's cute. We're actually going to two weddings next year. Um, it's dad's and brother's birthday soon. Nice and simple. Change of room time. Just do a quick little outfit of the day. I would have got Lydia to do it later, however, I don't think she's coming in anymore. So I have extra time to head into town and do some more shopping. I wanna go to m and home, check out their home and maybe white company as well and i also need to go to a salon actually to get a patch test for a brow treatment i'm having with them but anyway quick ootd i have a couple of necklaces on here from i think they're from anna luisa and then this hoodie this sand colored hoodie is actually from h&m menswear it's tom's hopefully he's not gonna watch this vlog and see because i haven't asked him if i can wear it but i'm wearing it and then my leather trousers from Zara. And then my new Boohoo trainers, chunky trainers, very Balenciaga inspired. Um, but I thought the beige kind of tone in it, the sand, went with the hoodie. Anyway, let me show you what I got. So the first little thing that I picked up was Michael Kors. It is in a small, I actually don't know if I'm in love with it, but a couple of these bits I even just wanted to bring in here to show you guys how much of a bargain you can get at TK Maxx. So the reason why I won't get it is because I think small would be too small fitting. As you can tell, I like things oversized. And this is from 195 down to 29.99 bargain. And then they also had loads of Zara, Bershka, um, Stradivarius. In fact, I think this one is Zara. Yeah, so this is only £6 in the clearance and it's like a nice khaki ribbed knit. I actually don't love it, to be honest with you. But again, I just wanted to show you that Zara exists, as does Reese. And actually, Reese was really... Reason, recently reasonably priced because this little top was in the clearance for 11 pound but they had i want to say about five different smart dresses for occasions all at 19.99 each which i thought was such a bargain for reese so that is actually a really pretty color but i've just noticed all this makeup on it so i'm not going to bother trying that on either i will however try these three jackets on for you so let's get trying on this first one from karen millen how beautiful is this navy and I want to say brownie orange print, £99 for caramelin. That is a really, really good price for a good staple winter coat, £100 I think is 
a good price point. Okay, this is it just thrown over the shoulders. It is in an extra small, unfortunately. So if it was a medium or even a small, I'd consider, but an extra small just feels a little bit a little bit too snug, especially as I want to layer hoodies and stuff under it like this. And this jacket I found from the Gigi Hadid collab she did with Tommy Hilfiger. And it was in the sale from 305 down to 94. And then I also picked up this. I thought this was a really good find. Michael Kors leather jacket. Um, very reasonable in the clearance at 116. That is so cheap for Michael Kors. Look, 495 it is usually dollars and 116. I thought it was a really, really good price. I love the All Saints leather jackets, but they are so expensive. Um, I think this is a good alternative. Another bargain find, Stella McCartney. This is the gold label, so it's from 500 down to 26. It is only a top. But it is Stella McCartney and then look they've got Armani there as well. This TK Maxx if you're interested is in a place called Manchester Fort Shopping Park. It's on the outskirts of Manchester but it's well worth a trip if you want a designer bargain. Just in new look and I love these kind of tones they've got for this knitwear. That blush pink is lovely and they have 25% off at the minute on selected items. So like $13.49 for that jumper is so good. If I can see that, and this one as well I love. If I can see either of those, I'll leave them linked because they are new in. Oh my God, this one is amazing. And then this is a good staple. Again, $22.99 if you are after like a roll neck. They also have them in like every color. They always have really cute homeware in New Look. The music's a bit loud here, so I'm just trying to like talk over it so I don't get copyrighted. How cute is this? Little jewelry holder, $8.99. Oh my God, that's so good. I remember trying to find one like this and I saw one in Urban Outfitters for 25 quid, but it was out of stock. I love the visual merchandising of this store. They've got the whole denim section here. It's nice and like spacious. I don't feel too like cramped, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, they have, it's a bit like Topshop vibes, isn't it? But let's see the price point, 25.99, yeah. Topshops are like 36 to 40. I've actually just picked up a pair of leather joggers from Zara, but these are very similar, 22.99. They are cheaper. They do feel a little bit cheap though, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they're gonna be a staple for me for autumn, winter. I mean, look, I'm in leather pants now. Look at this glorious sunshine. Right, time to find my car and I'm actually gonna head in to city center now. Sometimes it's full at this uh, car park. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Yay! This is the one that I wanted to smell autumn and also their new one at Fireside. How cute are these little mini felt pumpkins you get? Six in a bag for £15. I love the branding in here. It's so pretty. Minimal, I love it. I've never heard of this one before but Woodland Walk smells really really good and it's in the sale at 20% off. So it's £48 for a big candle, 16 for the little one. I think I prefer it's the autumn. The autumn's not that seasonal. It seems quite fresh, to be honest. There's also roasted chestnuts and Highland Escape, which is seasonal. I've spotted that they also have the white book, which I was thinking about getting. I think it's £30, if I remember rightly. Yeah, 30 And I just think it makes for a really nice coffee table book.
I always praise the White Company for their bedding. I really do believe that it's some of the best. I mean, look at that silky pillows. And for those of you that always ask, our bed is actually White Company, but it's quite old. Um, I love these as well. They have the Sleep Relax sprays which you can spritz on your pillow at night. I also spotted this, which I thought looked nice and cozy. I saw the matching pillow. So nice. These little acrylic, no, not acrylic. They're like white lacquer jewelry boxes would make for a nice gift. They're like stackable, so you can customize them. We've also got the Veya trainers. I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> and also Superga. These ones are a bit more affordable, I think little tip if you've seen my little DIY video with Poundland if you want a white aesthetic like that buy a hardcover book and flip the outer cover inside out so it's all white and then you can stack them and have that minimal look just a little tip there you're welcome I love that lamp. I can't see the price on it, but there is definitely a label, so it has to be for sale from here, not just a prop. I love the glass effect. This is another range that I'm a big fan of, the spa range. Again, it smells incredible. Would be really nice in a bathroom, this one. So I've got around an hour and a half before I need to head off to the event. I had a look in White Company, now I'm gonna head over to grab a pumpkin spice latte. Then I am gonna go to Marks and Spencers because I wanna check out their home range, keep saying that, really need to have a look at it. Wow, I see why people have tagged me. I love the branding of their new homeware, how nice is it? Very White Company, funnily enough, considering that is where I've come from. So their candles this size are usually 12, no, 20 pounds, sorry. So these ones are seven pound 50. Okay, so it's much more affordable. Love the little glass cloches that they have over the candles. Neroli Lime and Basil, very Jo Malone inspired. Who knew they had such a big homeware section now? This is the sort of branding that I really like though. Six pound for a, what is this? Room and linen spray in balance. Oh yeah, that smells so good. They've got it in a candle. And they've also got Calm. You guys know this is right up my street in terms of my decor. I like this camel coat that M&S have got and they've put it with this jumper, which this is from their cashmere. So it is a bit more premium for the price point, but it does feel lovely. And I think Emma Hill raves about their cashmere range. She like has all the classic jumpers. Um, I quite like the colour block of that, but without the grey, I wish the grey was cream. Anyway, I am not forking out 150 quid for a jumper today. These are quite nice. Maybe dupes for the Veja, Veja? How do you pronounce that? Someone please help me. Just doing a quick sweepstake of H&M. 24.99, see much more reasonably priced in comparison to the cashmere, but I guess the material is different. Lots of check in H&M. And there's also some like Paisley print as well, which I'm noticing. Oh, this is the Richard Allen range. Nice. It's quite a cute print and pattern. Loads of teddy coats as well back in this year. This one's like a shorter one. You know what? I'm actually seeing a lot more shorter teddy coats, more like jackets as well. I don't know if that's just because we're still in autumn or not. Um, but £40 is not too bad. Still don't know why Manchester Town Centre don't have a H&M home. I really wish we did, but we don't. I love this print on this coat. I think it's so nice. And it is £34.99. That's really good. They have so many different coats to choose from, like this one that I just spotted earlier. But I love this chocolate brown as well. I love that colour. I really do like chocolate browns on blondes, you know. Well, and brunettes, but I love it. I've seen this. I've seen quite a few people wear this on Instagram. 39 99 I nearly got it. 
um, but then thrifted one very similar so I realised I didn't need it but I do still really really like it. Just seeing where Lydia is. I've just come back to my car. I need to change my shoes. Got some heels to put on. Take off this hoodie and put on a nice coat that I've got. New one from Holland Holland Cooper. I'll show it to you once it's on. And I'm just going to top up my makeup in the car before Lydia gets here. So she is making it. Thank the Lord. So pleased she could come because I need my Lydia fix. Um, what was I? Oh yeah, so that was my little come shopping with me around Manchester, which was an ad hoc little thing, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let's spy on Lydia and see where she is using Find My App. It's a bit stalkerish this, isn't it? What do you guys think of it? Because I have it with a couple of friends, two friends and then my mum, dad and brother. Me and Tom don't have each other on it. And I get it, it can be a little bit addictive to follow people but i use it for convenience for instances like this where i can see where lydia is and she's 0.2 miles away from me she's driving through northern quarter at the minute so before long she'll be turning right into this little car park right let's top up my makeup switch out my shoes wait for lydia and then i'll see you guys when we get into cottonopolis where i'm hoping the food's going to come out quickly because i'm stuck and we're here at Cottonopolis. <laughs> so we're just about to go into Cottonopolis, which is just there, but I thought I'd do a quick outfit of the evening. evening because O O T E. Um Lydia is behind the camera, thank you. For Hi. So I Hi. have on today my little YSL Lulu. This is the sm small, not the toy. Can yeah. about that? Um the toy has a different handle. There you go. And oh yes, this it does. That's coat is true. new from Holland Cooper. We'll leave it linked. It's lovely. It's leather pants are last year's Zara, but they have some similar. We'll leave some similar yeah, things. I just bought some. Boots. I think these are old, pretty little thing from last year. Actually. They're nice. They just look yeah, nice with black leather trousers. Hey. Oh. Ouch! I like this about Drama. Nice now you're about to get hit. Let's Who's go in. Weird? Let's, you've not been Astrid coming out. Astrid and Mew. So I put all my gold jewellery on tonight in the hope that they might gift gold. Gold. <laughs> Although the new collection, who knows, it could be silver. A lot of their pieces are gold. Yeah. It's so. looking like, like, oh, who knows. Did We're you get really the vulnerable position offer to get a piercing? Yeah, but I'm too scared. Yeah, I should keep that out of that. I feel like it's going to be one of those things where when I'm like 40, I'll be like, I wish I'd never done yeah, that. Yeah, true. I mean, I've talked about getting like a second it hole on so each. It good on some people. I like it when there's yeah, a, lot like a lot or nothing. Mm. So, I don't know. Do you like that? <laughs> We're heading back to the car now. I've not been able to vlog in here though, it's been too loud, oh. isn't it? But uh, yeah, let's get back to the car and head home. Food was delicious. Change of shoes. Oh yeah, coat change car. of shoes, coat on in the car. Ooh. I'm just gonna say, why do we as women, whenever we say bye to a group of women, we sing bye? Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. You can say okay. it about 10 times as well. I know. Bye, 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 bye. bye, 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 bye. See ya. <laughs> nice to meet you. We do, yeah, don't we? Thank you. Bye. Oh, bye. what we love. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've luckily, we've parked not too far away, so we've only got a little trot to the car. <laughs> I feel like, literally what we're doing. I know, in these heels. I'm not used to wearing <laughs> big stiletto heels like this, but... It was a fun night, wasn't it? it? Was lovely, it's actually yeah. a really lovely brand. We mm. both really like it. It's big fan. It's not. I would say it's premium, but it's still affordable. Yeah. So it's. They've just got a really good like. A good quality. Kind of on trend. They've just and got trend, the yeah. Um, so they've Definitely. actually got a, they were telling us they've got a piercing studio in Trafford Centre. I thought it was a pop-up, so if I've said that anywhere, it's not a pop-up. 
it's an actual legit little station where you can go yeah, and which get is even better, piercing. Actually. Yeah. So we love the brand. It was a really, really nice brand. And thank you for having us. Now, time for flat shoes, bed, comfy, <laughs> cozy. I'm out of breath, breath in these heels. The heels are off. The flats are coming on. I might, I want to get my audio book on, but I don't want it to like make me tired from listening to a story. I will, I'm not tired. Um, new book that I'm listening to for this month's book club, if you didn't already know, I'm part of a book club. So we read a new book every month, and this month we are reading one called I Am Pilgrim. It's quite a long one. Um, I think it's about 22 hours of listening on Audible, which is quite a lot. So, I need to catch up, I need to listen to it. So I'm gonna do that on the hour's journey home. It probably won't take that long, but that's what I'm gonna to listen to. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Don't forget to check out Squarespace and the link in the description along with the discount code. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video. I hope you enjoyed this little weekly vlog over a couple of days. Stay tuned for next week where I have lots more exciting things coming. It is Vlogtober now, which is so exciting to be saying. To be saying. To be... <laughs> Good night, guys. Love you guys lots. I hope to see you in the next one. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more. All that jazz. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.